And we're back again. So we just had a rather abrupt encounter with a more and more kind of evil and grotesque looking Eddie, I think. They make him look very evil towards the end. Trick of the lighting, I think. Mm. And this room that you just did your, your first little encounter, because we're going to be chasing after, is fill, filled with dead bodies that still kind of look like you. Which I quite like as a detail. Do you know what it does to you, James? When you're hated, picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look? After you've been laughed at your whole friggin' life? That's why I ran away after I killed the dog. Ran away like a scared little girl. Yeah, I killed that dog. It was fun. It tried to chew its own guts up. Finally died all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> He's gonna have a hard time playing football on what's left of that knee. You think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. Don't get all holy on me, James. This town called you too. You and me are the same. We're not like other people. Don't you know that? Let's party! So, we've learned more about Eddie there. And a little bit about how at least he thinks the town works. Yeah. Wonderful um, environment here looks like, uh, almost like Silent Hill's mocking him. As the, the trousers, the short trousers, the, the, the hanging meat. Yes, it's a big meat locker with big ugly bits of meat. Look a bit like him. Mm. He really does some damage. Which is odd because he wasn't doing that much damage in the other room. No. Yes, I suppose now we know, you know, he hasn't really been kidding what he's been saying. He's just, hey, hasn't been killing people, he's just been finding them. Because he, he seems to now admit that he rather enjoys killing people as, as sort of revenge of his healing victimised. <laughs> There's uh, Eddie trying to hide there, not entirely successfully. Which is odd, because uh, Eddie's mostly aggressive. Switching to the uh, shotgun here. Hmm. Eddie? Eddie? I... I killed a... a human being. A human being. Mary. Did you really die three years ago? I quite like that, because it's like, um... It's sort of giving a different way to killing Eddie than to killing all those other monsters you've already killed. Because it's one thing to kill in self-defense, and one thing to kill something that isn't human. But killing a human is a, a different yeah. level. Of course, like food, I think. <laughs> eating, you know, other dead animals and then eating people. Slightly different level. Yeah. 
so we um and James is sort of beginning to question whether or not he's here for a, an innocent reason or not, I suppose, with Eddie accusing him of uh, also being drawn to the town because he's bad. And he's beginning to question if Mary really did die three years ago. This is what water is supposed to look like. <laughs> Another interesting thing is, think about where we've gone here. We've went to, uh, we went into the historical society, found a hole in the wall that led down into the depths. We went into an underground prison where we kept on jumping down and down and down. Yeah, so we've been going down and down and down, and where we shouldn't be is on a level plane with the surface of water, because we should be down deep underground, underneath everything, yeah. and yet where we've came out is simply the other side of the historical society, so was that entire trip entirely in our mind or not? We'll just see um, if you can get his bearings here. it be a little bit strange the first time. Are we still in our mind now, I suppose, as well? Did there come a point, maybe in the hospital, after Maria was taken by Pyramid Head? Yeah, is it like the bad ending to the first game, where, in fact, you never woke up after the car crash? Yeah. We found a dim little spot on the horizon, which we just want to follow. And I think this is uh, getting that there's been a, a long section of action. So here we get to actually just do something mundane and not particularly interesting so we can think about everything that's happened so far. Yes, this is sort of a if and wait period after dealing with Laura's monster and then Eddie as well. And I think it's about a minute and a half it takes to get across. Longer, I think. In fact, uh, there's an achievement for doing this on the in the HD collection. I can't remember exactly how long it is, but it's in the minutes, I think. I think it's about one minute thirty. If it's the one that's done for waiting. And I could never get that. No. Even going as fast as I could, I could never get it. I think I've been like a few seconds off it occasionally, but yeah. Oh, it's getting closer. There we go. James has successfully docked. So we did manage to get across the lake eventually. It's a prime holiday location, because normally when you have a holi uh, holiday location, a hotel called the Lake View, they mean there's a view of the lake. You're not really next to the lake, <laughs> but you yeah. have a view of the lake. Because this one's literally on the water. Right on the water's edge, yes. spotted an item there. That should actually make it a little easier for later as well, because that's to do with a puzzle inside, so now you don't have to come back out to pick it up. 
But I also believe the hotel is uh, quite a big area, like the school or the hospital, and it's also our last big area. Yes, we are rapidly approaching end game. Although the hotel is, as you say, quite a large location. A large location, which we shall endeavour to explore the next time. Oh, there's a map right there. Bye-bye.